just to let you know, I'm going to be releasing my book series South, starting with book one, The Pinewood High School Incident. And I'll be releasing it via chapters, starting with chapter one being released on November the 18th. So if you're ready to follow me along this journey as I share my writings with you, uh, please feel free to listen to it and give me feedback. What you have to say, I really appreciate. I'm really interested in sharing this story, and I hope that I catch you in the comments. <laughs> All right, thank you. All right, everybody, welcome back to the last episode of the week. Welcome to Saturday, the best day ever. Saturday has always been a really good day for me. I really love Saturdays because especially when I have off, I should say, I'm able to get a lot of things done that I normally wouldn't get done. Now, me being the janitor that I have been for about, what, nearly 14 years now, um, I've had a real hard time having Saturdays to myself. But those Sunday, those Saturdays that I did have to myself, I really enjoy it. But anyway, uh, this is it for the being a Christian while writing horror content um, topic for the week kind of thing. But I wanted to leave you with this last bit of information. And I really feel like this is important for most of us who are believers, all of us who are believers, actually, um, because it's something that a lot of people tend to not focus on and that is keeping it in the body of Christ keeping it like like your thing like everybody's thing everybody wants to everybody wants to run from the church right everybody wants to run off and do their thing because they think that oh yeah I'm doing this one thing right I'm, I got this thing going on uh, I'm trying to go achieve this one thing and then they get lost they get trapped in these in these groups in these systems they go to one place thinking that they're gonna they're gonna be the change they're gonna change the world they are they are they are it's that me me my you know kind of mindset but God didn't say that you're going to change the world God's going to change the world he's just going to use you to do it and so we have to let God lead. We have to let God go before us and not be in front of God or try to be in front of God and try to change things for our own narrative. That's that's really prevalent in relationships. I noticed that a lot of relationships, um, the person would come into the relationship being a believer thinking that, oh, I'm just going to change my man. I'm going to change my woman. They're going to they're going to love God like I love God. All right. Yeah, that's not going to work. That's not how that works. God is not your toy. God is not your your manipulation kit. God is God and you are his instrument or at least you're supposed to be. You're supposed to be used by God. And so what that means is learning about him like we talked about this entire time learning about God so that you can be used by God in the right way. It's not about going somewhere else to change someone else. It's about changing yourself so that you can be an example. I can't go to Hollywood and force people to become Christians. I can't stand out front of their, you know, their estates and their premieres or whatever and start talking about how God hates what they're doing. I can't go to anywhere and do anything to that degree because that's not how God operates. God does not operate by hate. God does not operate by protest. God uses his people in specific ways. And so in order to really understand that, we have to stay in the church. We have to do what we do in the church to edify God in the church so that when people see our work, they see God first. They don't see us. They don't see our ambitions. 
they see the message they see the word they see what it is that God is actually trying to speak to them and that's the key thing so follow with me we're gonna get through this I promise <laughs> I'm not gonna hold you long like all the other pastors say but yeah let's go ahead and get into it your church is the best place to premiere is that controversial I think not I think that whenever you're trying to achieve anything and you want to show off your talents you want to be seen right well you have an audience already you already have a cultivated audience so use them use the people around you to help show everyone else like hey this guy actually does this thing he is actually a part of this thing he's not just pretending and that's it like we're not pretending to want to tell people about the goodness of the Lord we're not pretending to want to use our talents to those degrees to be able to help people get saved we're doing it and when we do it when we're activated in that sense there's no shame or any resentment that can come from that now again like I said before there's a time and a place for certain things you're not just gonna hop in front of the pulpit on Sunday and start breakdancing or whatever else no, nobody said to do that but you are you do have the ability to present those things in a proper manner you have the ability to say you know what pastor I would like to have a night where we can get together just us in the in the fellow believers and put on a show for you know for our, our family and friends to show them about the work that we can complete to share messages with them about you know what we like to do to bake for them have bake sales and stuff because we're Christian bakers and we love to put our our hands to dough to make really cool message related um, works of culinary art you, you there's ways to do things and that's where it all lies in that's what it all lies in is prioritizing what you do but also making sure that when you do it that you include the people around you you don't just think that people aren't willing to be a part of your thing because it might seem obscure it might seem weird well when you have the word in you and you've talked with your leadership that is there for you to do you know your leadership checks that and it's this whole checks and balances system that really allows people to be more in the church than what they typically would be you don't have to be afraid of telling your pastor or telling your elders that you enjoy drawing that your art is geared towards um, that your art can be geared towards something positive or to say a specific message or you know even if it's something that might seem macabre or downtrodden you can still use those things you just have to make sure that it's coming from a educational place and not a a damaging or mind altering you know kind of negative mind altering space do your best not to pander instead have open discussions about your work and process let them see how the Lord is working in you don't think that you have to you have to oh yeah okay yeah we, uh, this is uh, like okay all right, all right I was going to say something but here, here it is you don't have to put a wall of Bible text in front of someone getting their head cut off right you don't have to do that it's not that's not what anybody's saying you don't have to pretend that you're doing this for the church that's pandering when you pretend to say hey I'm this is this is um, a film that I came up with um, it's all about Christian living and wholesome family entertainment and then turn around and it's like five messages um, in the beginning like the rolling of the credits or something and then all of a sudden everybody's just like stabbing each other and having sex all willy nilly no that's not what we're talking about that's pandering what we're talking about oh that's pandering and lying by the way and what we're talking about is 
getting the process together to where you can actually enjoy what it is that God's giving you and be able to share with your community in an effective manner. I enjoy the idea of having a dedicated um, production company to be able to produce audio dramas and you know readings and things of that nature that is one of my goals that I'm aiming towards to where I can be able to put out audio dramas for release that actually uh, tell messages of positivity and tell messages of getting closer to Christ and the importance of such and I know that <clears throat> as I continue in my efforts the Lord will bless me how he sees and deems fit he'll use me how he deems and sees fit and I'll be able to accomplish those goals the only thing I have to do is put in the work to get to know him more and to live for him more and because I have that mindset I'm trusting in the Lord and knowing that he he's got my back and I think that's just the most important part is trust we have to trust that our efforts are not in vain that there is a there is a reason why we are here and doing the things that we're doing and we're not just doing them just randomly for no reason don't chase worldly fame recognition is one thing but we are set apart to draw in the weak and weary we are not here to stand on red carpets and let that be the end all be all of our stories we are not here to surf twitter for excuses and blaming other people for the world's problems we are not here to pander to people who are desperate we are not here to mislead people into damnation we're here to save souls that is the overall message and so when you understand that and you can effectively work in that mindset to save someone's soul from the worst possible death imaginable outside of the sacrifice that Jesus gave for that, our salvation to see someone die in sin is the worst thing imaginable but if we can get past that, if we can not just get past that, but help someone not die in that way, if we can create content that can help people change their minds behind the reasons why they do what they do, to so show them that the true consequences of the things that they do, to give them a mirror, to allow them to examine themselves through the characters' downfalls in our in our films or to hear a message about the the problems with gang related activities through a rap song or however you feel like that can come across or however God gives you the message to expound to the people that is why we're here we're not here to become the next Kim K's or the next Ye's or whoever we're here to edify God and with that I'm going to go to our conclusion bolster the church with your ministry and don't fear ridicule as long as you keep God first in all that you do you will be victorious don't let the words of your pastors or your elders deter you from your path it's not meant as a deterrent to keep you from achieving your goals. It's meant as a means to convict your current mind, your current thought process. That thought process of, I'm right, I'm going to put my thing out anyway. No, that's not what that is. You can't just do it. That's, that's not indicative of a true believer. That's not what true believers do. We don't just do we're led and so 
being led that allows us to actually get things done the right way and to work with our communities the right way keeping God first in all that we do ensures that we aren't left wanting at the end of the day it ensures that we're on the proper path to God so that when we leave here and we go to whatever awaits us there are no regrets because the end is going to come and it's not about what day it's not about oh it's going to be this this next coming up year oh COVID COVID was the first sign or whatever no it's about getting yourself right now getting your mind right now getting yourself together so that when that does happen the big meteor in the sky comes and destroys the earth when the when the void swallows us whole well at least you know where you're going and with that i'll catch you guys next week remember stay positive and be creative don't just do have a reason behind what you do all right everybody thanks for listening to the podcast uh, make sure you hit me up on Twitter. My handle is at the writer Wesley. They didn't have Wesley the writer. I'm a little upset about, but I'll let it go. Anyway, hit me up on Twitter and let me know what you think about my formatting, what you think about the podcast, whatever you want to say. Just hit me up and talk to me. <laughs> I won't at you about anything weird, I promise. <laughs>